four, three, two, one, and liftoff. NASA brace for dramatic change. The shuttle program takes off. But would the cost be too great? When we left Earth, the NASA missions goes deep inside the film vaults of NASA and a quest to reveal stunning new images in high definition. The space shuttle, triumph and loss. A radically new design to match a radically new goal. This wing spacecraft needed to be a rocket ship, an airliner, and a delivery truck. And it has to fly over and over again. On the back of the space shuttle, NASA enters a brave new world. Engineers began early research on shuttle designs even before the 1969 Apollo 11 moon landing. This would be the future of NASA, if it worked. Veteran of the Gemini and Apollo missions, John Young, would command the first flight of Columbia, along with pilot and rookie astronaut Robert Crippen. Kennedy Space Center, launch day, April 12, 1981. Space Shuttle Columbia would be the heaviest craft to ever fly in space, weighing in at over 200,000 pounds. After two days of flight and 36 orbits around the Earth, the shuttle begins its rapid descent towards Edwards Air Force Base. Falling at 1,000 feet per second, Young commands a perfect landing. The shuttle program's first flight is a success. Space Shuttle Columbia flew 28 flights, spent just over 300 days in space, and traveled over 125 million miles in total. As fate would have it, the shuttle program became a victim of its own success. Flying mission after mission, the public lost interest, and NASA expected success with every flight. The second Space Shuttle orbiter to be put into service is Challenger. It became the workhorse of NASA's growing fleet. After nine successful flights, it's slated to be Mission STS-51. Five NASA veterans, a payload specialist, and Krista McAuliffe, the first teacher chosen to fly in space, trained for the adventure of a lifetime. January 28, 1986, the seven crew members prepare for liftoff, including Commander Dick Scobie. 73 seconds later, a fireball fills the sky, killing all seven crew members. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Tragically, time stood still in mission control. Never before had NASA lost astronauts in flight. Yet the program would forge ahead and learn from this tragedy. The Space Shuttle is the only winged manned spacecraft to achieve orbit and land, and the only reusable space vehicle that has ever made multiple flights into orbit. Space Shuttle, Triumph and Loss, sheds new light on one of NASA's most successful programs and an engineering marvel. A design that was truly radical for its time, yet is still in service today.